Hi friends, welcome back. All right, so today I'm going to be sharing a little bit of uh, insight into how you can send uh, animation created in Daz Studio. So we have this little guy called Melvin. I'm using the Melvin character. So I received a number of uh, requests uh, from uh, my YouTube channel and people are wondering how can we send animation from Daz 3D over to Blender. So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial walking you through how to do that. And I'm going to use a facial mockup, uh, but it, it works pretty much for if you have the full character animated. Okay, so let me uh, switch out of uh, IRA, go to smooth shaded, and we're going to use uh, an animation that I recorded previously. And I'll just go ahead and import the animation. And I'm using this one. I used it previously in a video where the, the police officer is dancing. So we'll bring it in and I select Melvin over here. I'll go to my content library, go to script. And my favorite plugin to use is a uh, face motion. Uh, double click on face motion. And actually, before I do that, let me bring up the timeline. So you see how quick it goes. And that's why I love this plugin. It's uh, it's insane how quickly it applies the animation. So this bar right here, it has all the facial animation that we need to put on this character, and it's about uh, 600 frames. So I just double I select uh, Melvin, double click on face motion, and I want to have some of the animation from the head propagated down to the shoulders, and so I can adjust those uh, numbers here, right? And I also aim I, I intentionally in, increase the smoothing factor to three to make the animation smoother. And then click transfer facial data and rotation. Watch this. Here we go. Boom. Look, guys, this is in real time. Real time. Bam. And it's done. <laughs> that was second. So you can imagine if you're trying to animate a face of a character, how long it will take you. But watch what just happened. So in smooth mode, so we can literally play back. So there is a character dancing. So this animation data was captured using a, an iPhone 10. Uh, unfortunately, there is no solution yet for uh, Android phones, uh, for Samsung phones and other Android phones. So uh, because this used to be face shift, Apple bought it and incorporated that uh, technology in the iPhone phones like iPhone 10 and above that have depth, depth uh, cameras on them, depth sensing. And so that's why we're able to get this cool animation in in Daz Studio using the face motion plugin. And that's pretty cool. So, I mean, you get such cool animation and you want to take it to Blender. So first, let's stop and let's look at it and see how it looks like in uh, iRay real quick. So if I just pick a frame, you can see how beautiful <laughs> that looks. So anyway, let's pick a frame. You can see how happy the little guy looks, you know? So that is pretty cool. So if you don't want to render in Dar Studio, even though it looks awesome, right? And, but you want to render in Blender, uh, you can definitely send this animation to Blender. This whole, all the entire, like the way the character is looking. Now, when you take it to Blender, you may have, you're gonna need to set up some of the shaders look more like this. So with uh, some lighting, you can replicate what you see here in in da studio all right so let's export the animation okay just put down timeline and i'm gonna get out of uh, iray for now and select melvin go to file export and i'm gonna put it in this folder let's see melvin face animation and we'll save and I'll copy this link so we can easily find it in Blender. I'll press save and so make sure animation is checked, figures and props, the morphs have to be checked, uh, collapse, UVs, all the, the try to replicate the same settings that you see here and use uh, FBX 2014 the binary version um, and uh, make sure you also click on edit morph export rules and make sure the shapes if there are any uh, 
bake, ignore, and bake. If, so make sure everything is baked. So because you want that animation baked onto the head of the character. Click accept and accept down here and export. So uh, to take a few, I suppose, seconds or minutes, depending on how fast your machine is. So it's exporting all the animation and we are done. Now we can bring up Blender. I'm using Blender 2.9. I'll go to File, Import, FBX Import, and it's put in the folder. Press Enter. And there is a Melvin face animation. So one thing that you need to do, drop, uh, click on the amateur icon right here, the arrow next to the amateur. And <clears throat> if this is selected, uh, make sure you enable automatic bone orientation, uh, like deselect it if it's checked and check use pre post rotation. Okay. And we let's import and then see how it goes. Okay, import. And let uh, Blender do its thing. So there's a character. Let's turn off the cube here. And where's the character? All right. And we can turn off, uh, let's zoom in real quick. All right, we can turn off the, not that one. All right, we can turn off the bonds <laughs> on the head. So let's zoom in and let's see if the animation actually came through. Playback. There we go. The animation has been imported. Okay. Now. So there's, you notice that uh, the head is not moving, the eyes are moving, everything else is moving. So let's re-import, file new, general, turn save, let's go to file, import, fbx, and let's bring back, let's go back to that folder, select it, and go to amateur, turn on automatic bone orientation over here, and let's import again and wait for blender to do its thing over here turn off the cube uh select all right let's zoom in so something strange happens so you see what it did here that's what that orientation does that when you import that orientation so the animation is there, but it kind of messed up everything. Okay, so let's try it again. New general <laughs> file import FBX. Select it under here. So make sure that's deselected and also deselect this one and import. Uh, turn off the cube. All right, and let's zoom in. And we can turn off the bones on the face, play back. And now we have all the animation in there. So that is the way you import the animation into Blender to have the facial and the body working together. So you need those two options uh, unchecked so that you can have the full animation, okay? And now we can, we, you're free to turn on the textures. So by default, I mean, the, this is the, the cornea and the eye moisture. They kind of look like that. So if we switch to, uh, let's see, let's go to, e, uh, let's go to cycles and Make sure that we go to the uh, select our Genesis character in here. On the materials. So we have all the materials here. And this is where you can customize the appearance of uh, the textures. And we go to the 
look for the eye moisture so it's white right now because it's, if you had like we can need to add like some glass material on there but for now we're gonna turn down the opacity here and also turn down the opacity of the cornea so that it's not opaque so like that and if we go back to EV you also need to do the materials like that but the animation is playing and sorry I'm gonna switch back to cycle so we can see it better <laughs> uh, and then click cycles so now you can see the character better and the animation is on there on the character the little guy is happy so now blender seems to do this strange thing <laughs> like when but it's there i think you can render it properly but now that, that's a quick uh, tutorial guys on how to bring in your character uh, the animation from daz studio into blender and be able to have that the nuances of the facial animation and i always uh, can always cl click back to eevee if you want to play back the animation and so you can see it in real time and so uh, you can also set the playback speed so that it, it, it's more realistic but i hope that was helpful and again what we did today was we we're able to go from in uh, from da studio here take our add the import the animation uh, that was captured using an iphone 10 using face motion and then brought it into uh, da studio applied it to the character exported as a fbx making sure that you used a fbx 2014 uh, make sure the animation uh, tab is also uh, oh, try to replicate the export settings that i have okay so i hope that was helpful guys <laughs> and uh, for all of you who have been asking me about uh, how to export uh, if it's possible to export animation from da studio to blender it is possible so thank you so much guys uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when i post a new video and uh, i appreciate every single person that has uh, supported my channel and click like and even given me feedback so if you have comments i would love to hear them and uh, continue to you know dream big don't uh forget don't give up on your dream guys even in a pandemic I, I pray that you all are safe please let's continue to wear a mask you know so to protect others as well as ourselves uh, much love to you all i'll see you next time with another insight and tutorial as well bye bye